while there had been a lead change among the women, 23-year-old Julie Moss, the former college student from Los Ojos, California, had moved ahead of Pat Hines. Moss came to the Ironman as a college student, just trying to get a degree. No one could have imagined she'd find herself in the lead so late in the race. The she Moss was asking about was Kathleen McCartney, who was in second place in the women's event, nearly 20 minutes behind Julie, when the marathon began. As night fell in Kailua Kona, an exhausted Julie Moss was clearly in trouble. Quickly back on her feet, but again her body said no more. Moss would walk methodically down Alihi Drive, now just a few hundred yards from the finish line. Just 30 yards from victory, Moss fights against a body that is shutting down. ABC's cameras captured this drama. As Moss struggled trying to balance as if on an earthquake, her worst fears were realized as Kathleen McCartney runs past her into first place, just yards from the finish. Unsure of her position and what had happened, McCartney had to be told she'd won by race volunteers at the finish. Moments later, Julie Moss crawled to the finish line in one of the most memorable moments in the history of ABC's wide world of sports. Millions of Americans watched mesmerized by Moss's courage and determination. Everyone who saw it was moved, and history has shown us that from that day forward, the Ironman would never be.